Well, the Defense Force ups its manpower with the recruitment of another group of officers. Lloyd Allen has all the details in this next report. On Tuesday, 160 new recruits now passing out as Defense Force officers here at the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Base. Standing here with us is Training Officer Commander Valentino Rule. Of course, talk to us a little bit about what was different this year for the training. Well, first of all, I would like to congratulate all the recruits, the new recruits, well, now Marines of Entry 60, Woman Entry 29. They would have done a stellar job in going through the longest period of training in the history of the Defense Force. We had 90 males and 29 females that would have gone through four phases of training. We had the militarization phase, the maritime phase, an infantry phase, and then a final phase. During the final phase, they would have done numerous certifications. The ISPS certification, along with the SP STCW certification, and also they would have done certifications in safety and also certifications in crisis management and disaster management. Now, I know, of course, uh, for these 116 officers, it's a new day, it's a new chapter in their lives. Any final words of encouragement for them? Yes, it is a new day for these group, this group of fine young men and women. I just want to encourage them to continue to, to hold on to the zeal, those Defense Force core values that they were taught in training, all of the, the characteristics that they were trained in that relates to their job as Defense Force officers on the front line of the defense of this country. I encourage them to keep that zeal and to always seek to do better as they move forward and as they progress in their careers. And of course, scores of friends and family and supporters coming out to show love for these 116 new officers. Reporting from the Coral Harbor base from the Royal Bahamas Defense Force for the Bahamas tonight, I'm Lloyd Allen.